sila apat lahat actually. Doon ko sila lahat pinanganak. Iniisip ko na nga kasi kung ganito naman yung situation. Oo, yung iba. Naka mag-antipod. Na, lying in charge. Ano <laughs> na why not? Ako, lying in ako sa last. Basta maka, maka-ire, maka-ire. Wala na patay mo talaga. Hindi, pero kasi yung say, ano ka na, risky charge. Oo, totoo naman. Kasi, thunder, thunder na ako. <laughs> Oo nga din, risky na nga rin, kaya natatakot nga din ako. Kasi puro normal naman yung mga anak ko, pero natatakot ako. Baka masiyas ko this time. Kaya ilang taon na babunso mo, Miss Amy, yun? Wala akong maranig. Ang tagal na. Oo, ang tagal na, diba? Testing. Doon kasi si Phoenix, eh, paano yung sabi, kailan kailan ka ulit ma... Kailan masusundan? Pwede tanong yung last time. Sa lahat ang tanong. Bakit? Ang problema mo? Ang galing mo. Kalimutan ko extension ko eh. Nasa si Maan, Days? Oh, ba't apat lang tayo? Oh, wow. Nakakapanibago yung ganito ah. Kasi ano, yung... We're live. Nandito yung kanya, monitor. Kanya, Nandito yung camera. Wala nga pong earphone yung plan. Ha? How can I do this? Mag-ano na lang ako. Should I just use the phone? I'll just use the phone. 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 Log out ako. Okay. You know what? Um, Naka-live na tayo. What the hell? Anna? Yes. We're live na tayo actually. Si Mahar nag-comment na. Hi Mahar. Hindi ko pa na. Hindi ko pa na. Paad ako Phoenix na gloko yung mouse ko. Hindi ko magalaw. What? Si Mahar. What do you mean? Oh. Ano mo? Yan. Ano mo? Kasi, and then, yung pangalan ko, yellow na lang po. Yellow, or... Hello! Yeah, that is better. Hello, man. I think that is still visible. No, 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 that is better. Blue. Blue is better. Okay. And then... Teka lang ha, huwag mo muna akong tatanungin ng mga bagay-bagay. Wait lang. Baka mamaya sabihin mo na naman na wala naman ako sa sarili ko. I'm so unprofessional. I am so unprofessional. Ano to? Okay. Inis naman yung mouse ko. O, anong nangyari sa mouse mo? Hindi ko alam. Kasi... Ano anong oras na? It's it's um there you go. Hold on. Um where are we? Freelancers in the Philippines. <laughs> Freelancers in the Philippines because Karap ko ang camera, nandito ang monitor, hindi ko alam kung saan ako haharap. Nakatingin ako ng ganito. It's not good. And, okay, so where is our But in but wala pa rin ako ano. Um, mm -hmm. Yung Anong problema mo? Yung live natin. Yung live na notif? Yeah. Kanina ko pang 4 o'clock na post. But hindi ko ma-share. How do you know? Why can't I share it? I need to be able to share it. Because we keep on asking people to share it. Baka mamaya hindi pala nila kayang i-share. Ay, lalagay ka sa ano, announcement. Wait. Right? Kasi kung ako hindi ko ma-share, then it means to say somebody else out there cannot share it. So, whom should we fire because of this? <laughs> ako na lang. Sige. <laughs> Bye, Anna. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, wala, wala na ba kasing share button pag sa flip? Kasi close group tayo, di ba? Ano ba so, naman? Dapat sa, dapat sa VA Bootcamp page ka pumunta para i-share. Mm -hmm. Hindi sa flip. Kasi yung babang ano, ang naka... Ano, public na ano, eh, page pa, page siya, hindi siya ano, group. Ano ba naman yan? <coughs> Habang naghahanap hanap si Phoenix ng mga ano, yeah, mas intro. An mag, intro. Mag, mag intro o mag, ako, babasahin ko lang yung mga nag-hello na. 
Ah, sige na, intro. Ito na nga eh. Wait lang. Init ng ulo. <laughs> easy, easy. Ito na. Lumabas tuloy pa. Hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Flip Chat and Chill where ang dami pong kapalpakan na nangyayari sa ngayong araw na ito. But where we, we get to drag a lot of people here. Ilan ba tayo? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got 5 people here presenting to you the ups and downs, the good, the bad, and... Uh, the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the good, the bad, and the ugly of, of freelancing. Beautiful pala, of freelancing. Ngayon, ang topic po natin sa ngayon, pasensya na po, ang dami talagang kapalpakan na yun ngayon lang. <laughs> sorry, 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 ang dami mga nangyayari. Pero our topic for today is, Anna? Homeschooling hacks for busy parents. Yan, homeschooling hacks for busy parents. Because, bakit nga ba po natin dapat pag-usapan ito ngayon, Anna? Because, di ba, dahil nga sa panahon natin ngayon na pandemic, uh, uh, marami ng parents ang gusto um, i-homeschool yung anak nila dahil nga ano, ayaw nilang may face-to-face -face yung uh, interaction ba sa school. Di ba? Kasi mag, uh, ano ang DepEd ng August 24 yata? Tama ba? August ba uh, ang classes ayon? So yun. Dahil marami rin nag-request na ano, maging topic talaga. No? Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. By August, and by August, um, DepEd is insisting that our kids will will go to class, kait na public, especially ito mga public uh public schools, eh, kait na ano um wala pang masyadong precaution, and a lot of parents are worried of what they should do with their kids. Eh, an option is aside from sending them to to school. Is to take the take the uh, no, uh, homeschooling route, and that is why we are going to talk about it today. Dahil para sa ating mga freelancers, isa ito sa mga inato pag natin isa sa mga sakit sa ulo natin, isa sa mga uh, pinag-iisipan natin. Eh, instead, kailangan solution na natin ito para may concentrate natin sa pag freelancing natin. So let us tackle this. But before we introduce our panel for today, um, I would like everybody to share this video, this webcast to all of your friends. Pakishare na lang po sa mga kaibigan po natin para po malaman nila. And even to those who aren't interested in homeschooling their kids, it would be nice if they will come and uh, listen to us, uh, view with us, talk to us, para naman magkaroon sila ng hindsight, para magkaintindihan po tayo. Because a lot of people are also having mis, uh, misinformation. They are receiving misinformation about homeschooling. And nandito po sa panel natin, ang mga actual um moms who are homeschooling their kids then yeah so to share their experience paki share na rin po sa mga kaibigan natin itong webcast na ito and let us know where you are viewing it from ayan so before we introduce our ano our guests na kanina pa sila nag Auntie, yes, Anna. Oh, Batiin muna natin ng ating mga viewers. Si Rollin, si Eve Manalo. Hello, everyone. Si Akimi. Hello, mga moms and Sir Phoenix. Lenny Babaw from Marikina City. Ayan, si Mahar. Excited daw siya sa topic. Lalo na't marami kang anak, Mahar, na gusto mo rin talaga kay homeschool, di ba? Criselda Abarquez. Hello, everyone. Rochelle Gravella Salvano. Uh, hello daw sa atin. Phoenix. Miss MJ. MJ ka talaga. Miss Days watching from San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Ikram. Ito na na yung pangalit. Ikram Adla Aguinaldo. Audio lang meron daw siya. Um, Hmm. Okay lang, maririnig ko yeah, kami. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> Chip good. Chip Galliardo Baserdo, paano po maging, katul ah, maging tulad niyo? Sige, mag-comment na lang yung ating mga moderators dyan para masagot yung ano, question Chip. Si uh, Abigail 
Ako po hindi. Ano yung ako po hindi? I I shot Chong. Good afternoon, Abigail. Abigail. Uh, Alex, good afternoon sa iyo. Nancy Dilla. Dada Palacio Ser Serapia. Ba't nawala si Daisy? Cheryl Piolay Balanday. Hello. Um, si J.D. Vargas. Magandang hapon. Marites Frias from Albay. Annelie Vasquez and Annaline, ang daming Anna. Annaline Alabag, hello sa lahat. Ayan. Uh, si Rochelle, good noon. Uh, hi sis, nood ka rin pala. Sino yun? <laughs> um, Cheryl, nice topic daw. Si Cheryl, Cheryl, I don't die. Ayan, that's it, pansi. Yun na. Uh, wow, ang uh, dami, nagusan na ako ng hangon. <laughs> okay. Okay, sana wag kang mahulog. Yeah. Yung phone ko nilagay ko sa harapan ng camera para ano kaso nakapatong siya sa nakapatong siya sa delikadong ano ko sana wag malaglag. Anyway, hi everybody. Ayan, na, na, nabati na pa ang mga guests natin. Ba't biglang nawala itong isang kasama natin? Kaya, si Bispan oh. naman ay ano. Siya yung talaga nag-homeschool at saka si Maan yata. Tama, oh. ay, nag kami right. ni Mary ay magtatanong kasi hindi kami nag-uhos. Ayan. Ayan. So let Ako me ulit. first... Hi, everyone. Yeah, Hi. let us firstly introduce yung, ano, yung interested. Yung wala pang experience sa homeschooling but interested to homeschool their kids or uh, considering. They're uh, weighing in kung ano ang meron dun sa homeschooling. So it is good because I want somebody who is a little bit skeptical today para tignan natin kung ano mga questions ng mga doubters dyan. And let's see if we can enlighten them. Hello, Miss Mary Jane. Say hi to everybody, please. Hi, everyone. Uh, Mary Jane Samantila po. Ako ulit. And um, I'm not yet homeschooling, but um, consider siguro kung kaya. Kaya ako nandito kasi gusto kong matutunan kung ano ba yung mga dapat kong uh, gawin, uh, isa alang alang consider para mas maging okay yung, yung, yung natulad din ninyo na maging okay yung pag school Kasi um, actually matagal ko nang gusto, way back two years ago pa, parang three years old pa lang si Emmett man. Gusto ko na. Tapos kaya lang hindi <laughs> Mm -mm. Kaya lang ngayon, parang, parang kailangan i-push kasi wala eh. Dahil sa COVID-19, no, parang um, ang hirap naman i-risk mo yung anak mo na palabasin pa. So yun, I hope marami tayo matutunan today. Hi everyone! Yeah, and thank you very much for being with us, Miss Mary Jane. And kung ano bang may isip mo na tanong, go ahead and shoot it out para sa para sa sagutin ng ating mga uh, experts naman dito. Let's go with Miss Daisy, yung nawala kanina. Kumusta po? Say hi to everybody. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. I'm doing good. Hope everyone is okay as well. Yeah. And uh, how long have you been doing homeschooling? Oh, um, I've been doing it almost about the same as long as my freelancing, so about seven years. So I've been mm. homeschooling yeah, almost seven years na, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Ayan, ladies and gentlemen, so you heard it from her, oh, seven years na ang, ano, around seven years na ang, ang, ang experience niya with regards to homeschooling her kids. As kung gaan siya katagal na nag-freelancing, parang ganun, ganun din katagal ang pag-homeschooling niya. So, pinagsabay niya. Means to say, by, by day, zero, day one pa lang ng pag-freelancing niya, napag-isipan na niya ito. Very nice. Thank you very much for being with us and I hope that you can share a lot of your knowledge about uh, homeschooling and freelancing, Miss Daisy. Next is Miss Man. Hi, Miss Man. Could you please say say hi to everybody? Hello, hello, everyone. So, um, technically, ako, uh, my son is six years old, so I can't say na talagang I'm homeschooling because uh, more on uh, independent school kasi siya since nung bata pa siya. So, I, I would like to call it life schooling. <laughs> Kung oh, may ganun okay. pa yan. So, yeah. Uh, medyo hindi siguro siya yung uh, expected ng mga moms ngayon na yung nag-answer ng mga workbooks like ganun. So, sa ngayon, uh, six years old na siya, wala pa kaming ginagawang mga ganung academics. So, wow. So, yan po yung background ko. 
Wow, very interesting. So aside from homeschooling, meron tayong live schooling na tinatawag, which is what Miss Maan is doing right now with her kids. I love it. And as usual, ladies and gentlemen, nandito po ako, ang inyong, ho ang inyong co-host, si Phoenix. At nandito po ang ating host. Ako talaga dito. <laughs> Eric kasi lady, pag ano kasi narar nararamdaman ko mula noon pa noon mula nung simula't simula pa lang ng ano ng flip chat and chill eh every time na nasasabi kong host ako tapos pag nasabi kong co-host si Ana parang medyo may dark cloud agad sa ano <laughs> but, but she is the host she is a host no? in in tandem kami wala pong wala pong ranking dito in tandem po kami ni Ana okay so Let's try our first question. Why homeschooling, Miss Days? Okay, so why I choose to homeschool my kids? Um, yeah, it's really because I wanted them to enjoy childhood more. Because growing up, um, that wasn't the case for me. For aral aral, kailangan perfect and taganyan. So I just didn't think it was necessary. Parang it was unnecessary stress. To let the kids, young, especially younger kids, to go through that kind of stress. Eh, yung mga lessons naman, you can learn later on, especially with elementary. Diba? Ulit -ulit lang sila. So, really, one of the reasons why we chose to homeschool is because we want them to enjoy their childhood. Na talagang stress free, play, laro, ano, no added pressure na hindi pa namang kailangan. Um, second is yung customizing learning. Since I have four kids at that time, um, Para lang, ano may, you can take as as much parang you can take as long as you want on a certain lesson pag hindi pa naintindihan ng anak mo until maintindihan niya so wala ring pressure na wag bukas iba na yung topic ko lang ganun and then kung nagets naman agad you can also just you know move faster so yung customization personalization ng lessons um is another reason why we wanted to come to school plus the freedom na um you can just bring them anywhere um, tapos, alam mo yun, like, commercial kayo dun sa off-peak season kasi lahat nasa school. So, kayo lang sa beach. Yung season ba na ganun. So, those are like the top three reasons why we chose to homeschool our kids. All right. Wow. So th those are compelling reasons, uh, actually. Those are very compelling reasons kung bakit. And ladies and gentlemen, hindi lang po yun ang, ang dahilan. Marami pa po tayong rason kung bakit natin kinoconsider ang, ang homeschooling. And um, yung, ito mga binigay ni, ano, ni Miss Days na, na dahilan kung bakit gusto natin i-consider ang homeschooling. It also it branches out. So whatever your whatever your reason is na hindi namin nabanggit don't be don't feel like we are leaving you behind it branches out it applies to everybody as long as you are considering homeschooling or life schooling as miss man said uh, uh, come on and just join the the discussion katulad ni miss abby miss abigail asked miss maan um yun pa ba yung waldorf education is that the same as your uh... life schooling Yes, opo. Actually, yung uh, anak ko po is under a Waldorf curriculum. So, ganun po yung sinusunod namin sa ngayon. We started late last year lang. So, yes, tama po yun, Miss Abigail. Very nice. Thank you very much. And very informative. Congratulations, Miss Abigail. Puti na lang ano na banggit niya po ito. So, there will be, there's more that we can research if we are interested. So, if we are interested in live schooling, as what you said, Miss, Miss Man, what is the biggest difference between, what are the big differences between homeschooling and um, live schooling, as you call it? Mm, uh, okay. So, uh, basically, ang pinaka-main difference po na uh, for me, ah, yung nakita ko is um, sa, ano po kasi, sa traditional schooling, parang at a certain age, we expect the, the, the child to learn to write, to, to read, parang ganyan. So, parang by this age, before you enter kindergarten, Dapat marunong ka na ng, ng alphabet, marunong ka na bumasa ng 1 to 10, yung mga ganun po. So, sa ano kasi, sa, sa Waldorf, they first develop the child. So, uh, hinahayaan na mag-grow po yung bata at their own pace. So, hindi sila mamadaliin magsulat or magbasa. Uh, mas, ang nurture po is yung gross motor 
movements, fine motor skills, yung mga ganun. So, yun yung nakikita kong main difference nila. Hindi siya, hindi siya naka, uh, masyado sa academics. So, yun, mm-hmm. more on holistic po yung learning. I like that. Yeah, practical education ang yes. ang approach nila. That is so that is so good. Whereas in homeschooling, you have choices too. Pero mostly kasi ang talagang target nila is academic, the academia. And meanwhile, uh, in life schooling, as they said, life nga, it is more the practical approach. Yon. So I hope na sagot po ang tanong ninyo, Miss Cheryl Piore Balanday. What is life schooling? Here's another question from Miss Jessica. Any suggestion where to enroll our kid? Thanks, Miss Jessica. Could you please uh, be a little bit more specific because we are talking about homeschooling here. So if you are asking about where to enroll your kid. Ang palagay ko magiging sagot dito if it is the formal formal education that that you're asking for whatever is near you. <laughs> But are there any uh, are there any very attractive schools here in the Philippines, Miss uh, Miss Jane, Miss Mary Jane? Have you heard of any, you know, yung parang kung ano ang Harvard sa Amerika eh saan natin ba, dapat ipasok ba sa ano? Hindi ba kayo yung tinatanong po niya, anong homeschooling provider is yung pwede mo in-enroll na yung anak niya? Oh, okay. Kasi marami pong homeschooling providers. Like ako kasi, I ask Miss Days, yung our living learning, yun talaga yung inaay ko. Kasi ano, it's a uh, Charlotte, Charlotte Mason um, methodology na parang same with the wild dro- wild, I mean, <laughs> Waldorf. Waldorf. Waldorf na hindi siya more of academics. It's about habits. Ito, ito parang, parang siya yung, parang yung growing bata. Yung more practical, ganyan. Parang uh, living learning. Kumbaga, yung way of teaching, hindi siya yung writing, hindi yung mga arithmetic, writing, and reading. So, yun. So, our living learning is one. Marami pong uh, homeschooling provider like Si Miss Days, marami siyang alam. Hi, Miss Days. Sige. <laughs> Ipapasa ko na sa'yo. Go ahead, Miss Days. Yeah, um, yeah, I think uh, the her question is about anong mga um, homeschool providers ang pwedeng enrolan. Oh, okay. um, kasi here in the country, meron tayong, I could say siguro three types of homeschoolers. Yung one is yung mga enrolled with the DepEd accredited providers. Ang benefit nun is um, meron nung LRN, meron nung grades and transcripts. So parang school pero um, bati nagkakaiban lang sa methodology. So yung mga ayaw mag-PEPT, mag-exam, or mag-ALS, they go that route. Meron naman din mga independent homeschoolers. Uh, and I could say, uh, I don't know if you would agree, Sismaan, parang under kayo na, no, independent homeschoolers. Kasi um, unless yung Waldorf mo sis is merong, um, what you call that, Um, then, ah, hindi, hindi pa, hindi pa. Yeah, okay. So, meron din kasi mga independent homeschoolers. Sila naman yung, they really just teach what they want or, or parang anong bagay sa anak nila, sa lifestyle nila. And then, wala sa question yung uh, parang susunod. Hindi naman susunod. Um, wala sa, parang hindi pa nila iniisip masyado yung paano yung grades, paano yung records, paano yung mag-college. Basta learning lang, um, you know, as, as they go through life. And then meron din namang, um, yung independent homeschoolers pala, meron din mga enrolled naman, pero sa US providers. Like Seton, Colby, um, ang, ang, ang challenge lang doon ay hindi sila accredited with DepEd. So once you decide to have their child go back to school, they will still be required to take um, CT or yung LSAT. Acceleration test. Yeah. And then yung last is yung mga un- Uh, yeah, unschoolers. Yeah, unschoolers in a sense na talagang free. Um, um, they just teach. Parang pang life schooling yun. Mga unschoolers, life schoolers, sila yun. Now, to go back to the question, sorry, um, kailangan lang kasi ng content and description dun. Um, about the providers, yung mga popular and talagang ako mismo may experience lang yung suggest ko. Pero marami na sila ngayon. Pero the ones I highly recommend would be one, Catholic Filipino Academy, ni Brother Bo Sanchez. So, Catholic to. And they follow the DepEd um, school calendar. So, may mga books silang required. Um, they follow yung, pas- yung schedule na pas- ako sa kong August. August din kayo mag-start. Matatapos kung kailangan matatapos si DepEd. Meron din yung homeschool global. 
home school global by um PCF um yung head nila is yung Tanku family Christian home school provider sila pero they accept all other faiths like pwede yung kahit Catholic ka Muslim and they cater to yung mga na OSW din na families sila naman ay uh, open enrollment sila I think four times a year so merong March merong June September and December I don't know now kung ano yung update pero with them um open curriculum sila um Meron silang set of required um, curriculum that you can use, pero kung may gusto kang iba, let's say gusto mo Waldorf education, pero gusto mo may depth of um, uh, LRN number yung anak mo, pwede. Basta lang ma-approve nila, so pwede yun. And then with them, um, sino pa ba? Kenyal. Kenyal integrated sa kainta. I, uh, I, kung hindi ako enrolled sa Arnold Learning, doon ako mag-enroll kasi very flexible. Um, it's really a homeschool provider created because maraming homeschool friends yung principal. So, talagang catered yung needs. Flexible din naman sila. And yung aking nga, early learning um, by Gerald Dunn, I involved with that because we're using Charlotte Mason then um, as a philosophy for education. Ano pa ba? Yun lang, um, ano pa ba? The learning place na uh, Cavite ay Laguna and then meron din IBA, yung International Business Academy sa so, may Cavite. Pero parang homeschool program kasi yun. Eh. So, parang you still have to comply with what the, the school has set to so, the freedom to go to medulet as compared to sa pag independent ka or yung philosophy. So yun lang sabi nila parang hindi sila ma-overwhelmed. May mga pages to guys so you can just also check their Facebook pages. Ayun. Mara, karamihan pala sa mga schools dyan, it's more like correspondence schools. I don't know. Um, I remember UP used to have this program na uh but you can study at home pero kung ano ang lessons sa uh, ano sa sa within the 200 days susundin mo pa rin yon kung ano yung curriculum bale parang yung classroom mo nga lang doon sa bahay mo there is correspondence in UP and it sounds like ganyan ang homeschooling programs na offered ngayon so if you are going to graduate if you if students here regularly graduate at ano bang month ng graduation ng mga students Pag-homeschool? Uh, no, no. Regular, regular March. school. March. 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 So, if stu- so if students graduate on March, yung ibang mga programs ng homeschool, March din ang graduation nila? Is that, uh, am I correct with this? Same lang, Denise. Majority. Uh, majority, yeah. yeah. Majority, mm-hmm. ganun. Except yung homeschool global nga kasi they have four enrollments. So, kung December ka nag-enroll, kung August ka na. So, parang ganun. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. So you you still follow the the uh, parang two hundred days depending on where you what the, when you enrolled. Oh, there there you go. Oh, so it's it's quite simple. Parang correspondence nga rin. That is, um, ang kagandahan don is walang lalamang walang hindi masyadong mabilis na mag-aral hindi man yung masyadong makupad mag-aral kasi meron pa rin sinusunod na mga required days of studies ladies and gentlemen i encourage you to keep asking questions okay Uh-oh, katulad ni miss yes go ahead tanong. since hindi ako nag homeschool talaga dahil mga traditional na nagpapasok sa school yung mga anak ko and parang ngayon um tinitignan ko lang din yung ano yung mga dapat kong gawin later on kung uh, ano ba yung pwedeng gawin para hindi mag-stop din yung mga kids kasi parang iniisip ko talaga next year na talaga sila papasukin dahil nga sa covid kasi hindi ako um, um, mas, um natutuwa ako kay days kasi ang dami niyang energy para mag-homeschool ng kids mm-hmm. niya eh ako apat din ng anak ko apat din sa days tama di ba pero yung isa baby pa Tama, kakawan pa lang. Ano man na ba? Okay, hinahabol kita. <laughs> Turn yung five years. So, ngayon, di, uh, lima na yung kids niya. Binuyo mo yung homeschool mo yung lahat. Tapos nag-work from home din siya. So, yung energy, saan niya nakukuha, di ba? Parang, kasi hindi ko nakikita yung sarili ko na kaya kong i-homeschool yung mga anak ko dahil nga parang maiksi ang pasensya ko. <laughs> Ay, parang may palo ang mangyayari kapag ka, ano eh, pag ka ako yung nagturo. Na, uh, assignment pa nga lang, minsan na high blood na ako kapag hindi sumusunod sa akin. So, un- una ko munang tanong kay Days, uh, kasi parang nag-inquire ako sa kay Bong Sanchez natin, kinonsider ko, di ba medyo pricey din pag nag-homeschool ka or mas makakatipid ba compared sa regular schooling? Uh, when it comes to the cost, it 
may control talaga tayo as parents kasi it can be as cheap or as expensive as we want it to be. So, let's say um um mag-enroll ka sa provider. Doon medyo may guidelines sa cost kasi sabihin na lang question, oh. tapos yung books, tapos yun pwede na yun. Pero pag independent na naman, like you're just teaching on your own, wala ka yung um, provider, pwede yung maka like use free resources online or yung iba na kilala ko na independent ng schoolers, ma-travel naman sila, ma-activity. So, magastos din. But the thing about it is you really have control on how much you want to spend in your child's education um, with it. Um, parang ganun. Pero kung independent days, um, accredit, ma-accredit ba siya ng DepEd? Ganyan. Paano yung mga grades ba? Kung, kung paano masasabi na um, o oh, oh, gumraduate yung anak ko grade, ganito na siya. Yung ganun. Yung ganun ba? Uh, sige, brace yourself. Medyo mahaba to guys. <laughs> Pero um, <laughs> This maan feel free to pitch in. Um, so, sige. Um, in terms of yung mga independent homeschoolers, um, dalawa kasi yan. Um, yung mga ibang kil- mga friends ko na independent sila, um, dahil nga hindi involved with the provider, ang gagawin, ang kailangan is, you need to take the PEPT, yung placement test. Pero, um, yung iba kong friends, they do it yearly. Para, um, yearly nga, parang, okay, let's say ngayon, grade 5, so, mga bago mag-summer, after summer, papatakin, tapos kung pumasa, edi eh, eligible for grade 6. So parang nagkaroon ng, and that's good enough proof, yung PEPT results, if gusto niyang ipasok sa school. But then, if you, kaya ka nga nag-independent kasi ayaw mong ma, kumbaga makulob dun sa, um, ano yun, uh, confinements ni DepEd, yung mga rules na dapat by this age, ito matutunan. That is not to say naman na hindi yan, hindi rin yan pwede pag-enroll. Like kami, enrolled kami sa provider, pero may freedom din kami ganun. But generally, yung mga naging independent talaga, they really just want to enjoy the process of homeschooling because it's a lifestyle, eh, extension ng parenting mo. So parang sa kanan si DepEd. But then, by the time na they feel na the child wants to go to school or parang as a family, you've decided na, oy parang ready na tayo to go back to regular school. Then that's when you take the PPT. Ang magiging concern lang doon is, let's say, nag-start kayo mag-homeschool grade to yung bata. Tapos by incoming grade 6 siya, gusto niyo nang magpasok siya sa school. Tapos throughout those years, hindi siya nag-take ng PEPT. Ang mangyayari doon, the child will have to take all the PT, PEPT exams from grade 2 until grade 5. Pag napasa niya yun, then eligible siya for grade 6. But then since it's a placement test, kung ano yung pinakamababang score niya, doon siya mapiplace na grade level. And that's like five subjects. English, science, math, aralin pa po ng Filipino for grade level. So, kung grade 2 to grade 5, ila yun, diba? 5 times 4, parang 20 exams. So, kawa yung bata. Kaya yung iba, they take it yearly. Para one year at a time, and then at least meron ng PEP result na, okay, eligible for grade 3. By the time na gusto nilang pumasok sa school, eh, hindi na masyado ma- mararush yung bata or ma- may stress din si mami na reviewin lahat. Kasi nga, every year naman tinake nila. Now, meron din iba na they, they're doing the ALS, yung Alternative Learning System. Ito is originally designed for yung out-of-school youth talaga. So parang sabi ni Mami Michelle, um, yung isang nag-go through this route, um, ang isang requirement is dapat overage yung bata. So like for elementary, hindi ko kasi alam kung ano age level. Like 12 siguro yung tapos ng grade 6. And then uh, what you have to do lang, let's say elementary ang wala kayong record, you go to the nearest public school, inquire about ALS, and then i-schedule yung anak nyo parang mag mag mag-study for two weeks or a month yata may mga lessons na aralin and then i-schedule for exam. And pag napasa yun, merong elementary or high school diploma yung bata. Parang that's the other path you can take if you don't want to enroll with a provider. Ayun. Ayun, Ms. A. Ito dumaan ako sa PEPT, dumaan din ako sa AUS. Oo, oh, yun pala o. Oh. Homeschooling ka pala. Hindi, <laughs> pasaway. Pasaway ako. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Pasaway ako nag 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 ano na ako nag nag um ex, na expel ako ng, na na expel ako ng ilang mga schools dito <laughs> kaya wala akong choice hindi na ako pumasok and then tumanda ako nag nag PEPT ako pero hindi ko pa rin hindi pa rin ako nag-aral and then nag alsa ako and yeah that's it <laughs> hindi ko natin tinuloy but yeah totoo yung sinabi ni Miss Days medyo mahirap yung PEPT but it's um it's a good way of testing your your kids kung yung knowledge mo. Kasi ang, ang problema sa ALS, 
you it, it is quite easy uh, actually it, it's quite easy ang ang house pero pag nakaapak ka ng college kawawa ka dahil nga nga kapag hindi ka knowledgeable unlike PEPT it really uh, checks out if you are prepared to step into college kung pang college ang ang pupuntahan mo nga kung ma-accelerate ka sa sa college degree eh kung unlike ALS basta pinasa ka na lang binigyan ka ng high school diploma pero um yung knowledge mo kulang-kulang medyo uh, ang hirap ang hirap umapak sa ano sa college pag ganun but uh, both are both are good options um what about you miss Mary Jane do you have any questions yes i have a question kasi parang um most of the providers they require nila na college graduate um, parents, not to mistakes or miss ah, ma'am, ganun, ganun ba? What if hindi, hindi college graduate yung, yung both parents? Ano kung pwedeng best option na gawin? Halimbawa. Hmm. Parang, parang ano, parang, or, parang, 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 na kahit hindi college graduate. Kasi nung nag-inquire po ko sa RPG, oh, merong mga um, required sila. Kailangan may diploma or DOR. Yung, uh, it's either yung mommy or God. So nakakita ko ng question. Although hindi naman ako, ano, kasi graduate naman kami. Kaya, pero may mga mommies kasi doon na nakikita ko, oh, ano, paano kung gusto nila mag-enroll? Kasi gusto nila yung Charlotte Wilson na ito doon. Tapos, hindi sila ano hindi sila keep up with kasi hindi sila track pero other guide mm-hmm. or something oh okay oh kasi personally parang ang ang approach ko is uh, mag-iimbi kami hanggang sa humiling siya na gusto niya pumasok sa traditional school pero Uh, naset na yung isip ko dun sa yung mga binanggit ni Days kanina kasi meron namang mga workaround. So talagang kung interested ka to homeschool, meron at merong paraan para kumbaga mairao siya, especially dito sa, ano, sa Pilipinas. Kasi hindi pa ganun ka, ano, hindi siya ganun pa ka, hindi ko naman sinasabihin na ka-regulated or hindi siya ganun pa kahigpit, hindi pa sila ganun kahigpit. So may, meron at merong way. So, kailangan maging resourceful, no? Ay, kaya alam mo sila na pag mga, pag mga, uh, lalo na pag first time, alam mo yun, parang ang daming-daming information na kalito, ano bang dapat gawin, ano bang saan pa susundin. Ano bang kaila. So, yun. Saka, gusto ko nang i-share yung isang mahalagang, uh, ah. kasi before may inattendan ako na, ano, na parang get together ng mga homeschooling mothers. Tapos, yung, ah, uh, parang nag nagtotok sa amin noon sinabi niya na the first ang first uh, step muna kung interested kang mag homeschool is to identify kung ano yung goal mo for educating your child ah uh, kumbaga doon kasi manggagaling yung mga susunod mo pang magiging uh, susunod mo pang magiging uh, steps so kung for for example you want to Uh, concentrate on academics. So, syempre, ang susunod mong steps nun, maghanap ka ng provider, di ba, na mag-offer nung, nung kailangan mo. Tapos, kung halimbawa naman, uh, ma-decide nyo na mas gusto nyong uh, ma-enjoy nung bata yung, yung pagiging bata niya. So, mas maging exposed sa life experiences, sa travel, ganyan. So, perhaps, you can choose the in- indie route. So, Ah uh, doon doon talaga nag nagsisimula kasi nag ano din ako parang nung ba, mas bata yung anak ko naguluhan din ako kung ano ba dapat sa anak ko kukuha ng mga ipiprint na mga workbook 'di ba para kasi parang feeling mo lalo na kung ako isa pa lang yung anak ko tapos syempre unang anak masyado ka excited tapos parang feeling mo pag wala silang ginagawa pag hindi sila nagsusulat pag hindi sila nag-aral magbasa parang feeling mo may kulang silang ginagawa parang ganon so habang tumatagal kasi yun ya dahil dahil 
uh, inidentify ko kung ano ba talaga yung idea ko ng education at kung ano yung gusto kong education na i-impart ko dun sa anak ko, nagkakaroon na ng, liwa, ng linaw. So, nung medyo malaki-laki na siya, hindi na ako ganun ka-stress. Ka so, okay lang sa akin kung, kung magbabasa or magsusulat. Hindi na ako nagpiprint ng mga ano. Kasi, uh, unang-una, yung mga bata is mas natututo sila through play. Lalo na yung mga toddlers, tsaka yung mga kindergarten na age. Na, natututo sila through play. Tapos, natututo rin sila on their own pace. So, nagulat ako kasi yung anak ko, hindi kami nag, nagsusulat, di ba? Hindi naman kami nag... Uh, hindi ko naman siya tinuturuan ng paano magsulat. Tapos, pigla na lang, ano, marunong siya ngayon magsulat. Nakakasulat siya ng name. Tapos, nakakabasa siya ng mga simple na mga salita, parang ganon. So, ano na, magiging madali lang sa kanila yun. Basta anuhan lang natin sila. Lalo, laging nandiyan yung support, ha? Ganun. So, yun. Yun lang yung gusto kong i-share. Para lalo na dun sa mga, ano siguro, sa mga bagong moms na nanonood na medyo nasistress. Uh-oh. Ayun, yun. Yun siguro yung um, muna i, ano, isipin mo na kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mo uh-huh. na ibigay na education dun sa anak mo. Yun. Yun lang po. Moderators, pakisagot nga itong, sa, itong tanong ni Miss Ginger, bagong tanong ni Miss Ginger, kung pwede niyang i-share sa Ginger page niya. So, Go ahead, Ginger. Pwede, pwede. All right. Now, thank you very much for that, Miss Man. Ang galing ng, ang, uh, medyo uh, marami tayong questions, ah. <laughs> ang daming questions. Ibig sabihin maraming interesado sa pag-homeschooling na kanilang mga anak. Uh, but let's go with uh, one of the earliest questions. Uh, para sa akin, na, nakita ko to it took my, my interest. Uh, ilang oras po ba? a day usually ang ni spend for homeschooling a lot of moms and let me expound this a lot of moms are worried about their time in address yan ni ano ni ana kanina eh paano 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 kayo magkakaroon ng time how ma- ang hirap as a mom alam niyo naman as a mom marami kayong trabaho and then in addition to that is being a freelancer where you have to devote so much time tapos doon pa lang medyo naghahanap na tayo ng points and uh, tips for time management now if you're going to add homeschooling to that how much more time are you going to devote for homeschooling um miss daisy how about you answer this <laughs> Ang dulo pa naman. Um, yeah, totally. Uh, gusto, gusto ko lang talaga i-second yung sinabi ni Maan. Um, Doon po talaga tayo mag-start sa goals. Kasi nung um, nag-isisimula ako, isa rin kasi mga overwhelmed moms. So, I think nag-independent kami, nag-unschool lang kami, nag-inol sa provider, lumipat sa dalawang provider. Until parang, uh, there came a point na I know now our group, I know what to share family, and then, yun. Ago. So, medyo na-late ako doon kaya nagpalipat-lipat. Pero sa mga nagsisimula po, identify niyo muna why you wanna homeschool. Ano ba yung goal na gusto mong achieve? Kasi kasama sa sismaan, kung ano yung goal niyo, um, it will affect the next step. Like, okay, uh, gusto niyo, parang uh, academic na. So, you may wanna enroll with a provider. The next step is, anong provider? And then, anong philosophy? Pero kung mas lagi niyo ang freedom, flexibility, um, childhood lang muna, then maybe not too much academic. Pero going back to the question, um, For, for uh, okay. Doon pumasok yung philosophy. Ang ginagamit ko kasi Charlotte Mason and isa sa principles na is short lessons pero we're spreading a feast. So, um, for my child that's seven year old, two hours a day, pero hindi na rin yung consistent. Eh. Um, and then yung elder kids ko na grade five, three to four. The thing lang with my, um, Um, what do you call this? Yung dalawa kong, sabi ko mayroon akong batches ng kids. Batch 1, batch 2, batch 3. <laughs> yung batch 1 ko, yung mga um, grade 5 na, kasi naging independent learners. So, na-train ko na sila sa all the years na, okay, we just huddle in the morning, they discuss na gano'n ko, and then they can go on with their lessons, and then I check after lunch. So, ang tinutukan ko ngayon, yung days, yung 7-year-old ko kasi grade 2. And then, yun, yeah, 2 hours lang yun, mag-start, 9 o'clock, by lunch, tapos na si Tweet. Tapos yung elder kids, but they're working on their independent work sa morning. Chuchek ko sa hapon. Kasi with Charlotte Mason din, that's why I chose it. Um, very around conversation, narration. So hindi kami yung, hindi kami madalas mag, mga written exams, mga ganon. You really just let the child know what they learned versus dun sa traditional na, di ba may exams, we're testing what they don't know. 
pero with mm-hmm. Charlotte Mason philosophy and other Muslim philosophies like Waldorf and um yung mga iba pa, um we're, we're, we're asking what the child has learned kasi once you ask them then they narrate it yung act of narration and dami ng brain process na na, na involved diba? kasi let's say you read Pinocchio and then and then my time yun like 25 minutes long for two and then okay quit um what what do you remember about Pinocchio and then before she can you know, like um say it the organization niya sa utak niya ano nangyari so organization sequencing planning order and then she will say it the act of her saying it based on what she has organized in her brain makes the learning her own so retention is higher kasi sa kanya nang galing yung learning versus sa uh, okay who's the main character in Pinocchio one line mga ganun lang or what do you think is a problem in this na you pull it out from the child so mas saka yung mga insights nila especially younger kids nakakatuwa yung mga insights nila sa mga ganun so really for those moms that have kids seven and below just focus more on play and read aloud and basic math diba nga kaya number one si ano ba yung man ano ba yung Finland ba? Um, Finland, bro. Yung sa buong mundo na educational, na di ba? Walang, yeah, um, walang I, academic I, for I, kids seven years below. Talagang, oh, parang mas yung mga European countries na yun, um, they don't focus too much on academics um, seven years old below. Talagang play, outdoors, um, conversations, um, basic math lang, pero around play pa din. Kasi nga for kids, yung play is how they learn. So and then as you as you um and then that's also one key kasi if if you start homeschooling like that yung learning ba ng bata yung natural desire to learn hindi na kikil kasi imagine niyo diba papasok ng kinder excited but then pagdating ng grade 4 grade 5 parang tinatamad na sila what happened so i feel lang that the desire to learn was killed because of too much busy work and instead of letting them explore so Medyo na-divert ako. Pero going back dun sa time yun, very, kaya ako ng Charlotte Mason din kasi very short time pero consistently kasi and then you build the habit of attention. Kasi with Charlotte Mason, oh, 25 minutes lang lesson pero you only read once. Hindi yung sa ulit mami, hindi. Kasi we are developing the habit of attention to make them better listeners. Para one read lang, nakaka-focus na. So kahit short lesson lang, pero yung focus na develop. So that will, ano yung pag lumaki na sila, mas, mas madidevelop. So for me, that's how I work. Like after, yeah, I homeschool first before I work para wala nang mom guilt, wala nang kung ano mong winoworry, makaka-work ako ng maayos ng 2 p.m. onwards. Ayun po. Uh, what about you, uh, Maan, Mary Jane? Uh, nahihirapan ako sumagot kasi parang dahil hindi nga kami yung, wala kaming specific time na eto lang yung gagawin natin, mag-homeschool lang tayo. Kaya kung ano nga, parang isipin ko yung sarili ko na napakatamad ko. <laughs> kasi pinapab- as in, pinapabayaan ko lang talaga siyang maglaro. Tapos, Mas maanali yung, ano yung way, yung way pan, paano yung everyday um, process ng kid? Paano, curious lang ako. Sino pa ako? Apo. Uh, uh, let's, let's say, ano, a day in the life of oh, uh, Miss Man. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, Para may kailangan namin. Okay. Sige po. Um, kasi po, before, before nung lockdown actually, meron siyang pinapasukan na parang community school. Okay. Oo, na, so, ang, ano po siya doon? Uh, from 8 a.m. hanggang 1 p.m. So, inatin siya, tsaka sinusundo siya. Tapos, since nung lockdown, Ang rhythm namin sa araw-araw, so gigising siya, magbe-breakfast, tapos maglalaro, tapos uh, minsan mag, ano siya, uh, gusto niya tumulong sa pag-prepare ng pagkain. So yun, marunong siyang uh, maghiwa, hinahayaan ko siyang gumamit ng kuchilyo, so tumutulong siya sa pagluluto, pagkatapos nun, maglalaro na siya ulit, tapos lunch. So, after ng lunch, maliligo, tapos maglalaro ulit. Then, hanggang ano na yun, hanggang bago mag-dinner na yun. Kasi, hindi siya natutulog ng tanghali. Pero, in, in between yun, habang naglalaro siya, marami siyang mga tinatanong na kung ano-ano. So, na, yun, yun, yun na yung ano, nag-aaral oh, na kayo. Parang, 
Oo, parang gano'n eh. Parang yun so, eh. So, walang specific so, time halimbawa, 9 a.m. to 10, ito yung gano'n natin. Wala, wala, wala. Kasi wala, ako nag-try ako dati, ano, hapon. Mm-hmm. Kaya lang, napapag- parang hindi ako nakaka-focus sa work. Kaya nag-stop mm-hmm. kami. Or ano. So, ngayon, oh. parang bintang na naman ako. Paano mo maayos yung schedule? So, ilang so, ilang taon na siya? Tatlo kasi yung anak ko, may four, ah. three, and two. So, ang hirap. Ay, puro bata. Mahirap ako. So, ayun. Siguro yung four muna yung mas focus. Kasi mag... Ah, five na pala. Five years old. Kasi kindergarten na siya. Sana ngayon pasukan. Lalo ko siyang i-enroll. Oo. Uh-huh. So parang ang ang importante naman siguro ang importante for for me ah kung may pag meron silang mga questions ah uh, I make sure na sasagutin ko talaga hindi lang yung o oh, oh, hindi or hindi lang yung para matigil na lang talagang sinasagot ko tapos nagiging ginagawa namin siyang uh, learning learning ano learning time na din parang yon so siguro yun na rin yung pinaka ano namin homeschooling na matatawag I think I like that. Kasi ang bata, pag, pag minsan, kahit anong pilit mo pa sa pag-aaral nila kung, ay, kung ayaw talaga nila, ay, ayaw pumasok sa kokote nila. But the moment they ask a question, that is when their minds are open and they, they, they will listen. So I think that is a very good, that is a very good approach in some way. Uh, ang kaso talagang, you really cannot rely on your own schedule. Schedule ng bata ang masusunod kapag yes, ganyan. Yes, I, I see. So, how would you be able to to balance working and being a mom, being a wife, to this way of homeschooling your kid? Um, since medyo ano narin kasi siya, medyo malaki na siya. Na na kakausap mo na siya na ganitong oras na work ako. So yun may sarili mm. na siyang ano no. Tapos siguro minsan pag meron siyang gusto ng itanong talaga na hindi na niya matiis, na lalapit siya. Mama, ano ba, ganyan-ganyan, pwede ba magkano? Tapos yun, magkakausapin ko siya. Parang ganun po yung nangyayari sa amin. I think that is one of the biggest advantage of being a freelancer, Stop. right? <laughs> Available uh, ka. Yeah. Uh, right, di ba? Especially kapag general VA ka. You, hindi, ka yung, hindi ka yung stock na nasa, nasa webcam na may nagbabantay sa iyo. In fact, even if ma, naka, what do you call this? Yung naka... Uh, uh, ano yung yung nagmo-monitor na na app na yon even if you are being monitored yes if, even if you are under time tracker okay lang kasi it's okay na, na, may naa-accomplish ka pa rin eh na isasubmit mo pa rin naman yung trabaho mo and once they see that you are with your child kung na screenshot ka ay kung na picture ka man na you are with your child i believe your your client will uh, be forgiving with that so that is Y- yun eh, parang ang ganda kasi a lot of us may be worried about homeschooling and giving time to our kids whereas freelancer in fact enables us to have more time with our kids. So I think homeschooling and freelancing can work hand in hand provided that you know what you are doing. Tama ba ako ladies? Yeah. Tama ba? Ako, ako lang, meron lang akong concern kasi yun na nga, ho- nag- ho- nag-freelance ka na sa bahay ka tapos mag-homeschool ka pa. Para yung sanity mo ba? <laughs> Mer- na nandiyan pa ba? Kasi pa- patulad mm, ko. Good question. <laughs> yung apat ko na anak pag nandito sa bahay, parang mas gusto ko talaga sa nang nasa school kasi parang may katahimikang konti kahit ilang oras man lang. Kung pwede, mm-hmm. nag-homeschool na sila tapos nandiyan ka rin na nag-work. Pag sabay-sabay, pag nag-pile up na, may, may household chores pa, tapos mm-hmm. maingay sila, parang nakakabal yung, <laughs> parang hindi ko kakayanin. Kaya parang, nung nag ano nung nag nag-inquire ako na napag-isipan ko teka lang baka hindi ko kayanin kasi ngayon nga medyo maikli din ng pasensya ko sa kanila tapos yun nga tapos baka hindi ko talaga kayanin kaya hindi ko talaga tinimay kayo ba ikaw days kasi ikaw talaga oh, yung talaga big dami ako oh, kasi yes. ano kaya pa rin lang at saka medyo oh. seven din pero yung sayo talaga yung talaga ako na pa-proud ng <laughs> ano ba bang ginagawa mo talaga paano ba ito <laughs> Hindi ko na babaliw. Pakis ko mo. Oo. With me, yeah, um, siguro napapasok yung homeschooling talaga is not for everyone. Pero um, kasi with me, I started to work from home because I wanted to homeschool. So parang baliktad ako. So, 
um, pag na-homeschool ko sila, masayang masaya ako. Maligtad naman. Na, pero pag nag-work ako, hindi ko sila na-homeschool, doon ako nababaliw. Na parang, ako na ba ba yan doon? Maligtad naman ako. So, uh, ako, um, kasi yun nga eh, parang nung nakita ko, nag-asa call center pa ako, nakita ko um, yung smart parenting magazine about homeschooling, tapos na-route sa page ni Brother Bo. Nagang na-inlove ako sa idea, tapos nag-decide ako, like, this is what I want. Tapos, yun, saka ako nag, parang, paano ba ako makakatrabaho sa bahay? So, ang main source of joy ko talaga is mahumpul sila. Kaya, pag mahumpul ko sila, happy ako. And then, mas nakaka-work ako ng maayos kasi wala akong worry nga. Kasi sila yung source of guilt ko. But then, yung sa sinasabing walang patience, patience, um, that's the thing din about homeschooling. Hindi lang yung mga bata yung natututo, pati tayo as parents, we grow in character. Kasi, haba talaga yung pasensya mo. Um, yung akala mong sukdulan mo na may ihahaba mo na. <laughs> Tapos, um, so, pero, just be open. Oo. And then, one thing lang na I feel na is important then is um, you go through a process that's called de-schooling. Kasi majority of us, we learned, uh, we were educated in school. Diba? So, para meron tayong idea in our heads about what teach, what learning should be like. Kasi nga, na, sa school tayo na race. So, when you go into homeschooling, I suggest you go through that process lang this schooling ba? Marami namang resources online. But basically, it's really just removing all your um, understanding of what school should be like based on how you were educated and then just being open to what homeschooling really, really is. And at its true sense, homeschooling is yung parent yung nag sa bata. Hindi lang naman talaga siya sa bahay. Um, it can happen anywhere, pero... Um, yun, feeling ko importante yung process na yun. Kasi once you're clear with that, mas ma-clearly identify mo, ano ba yung goal ko talaga? An- bakit ko ba gustong i-try to? Dahil lang ba sa um, nangyari ngayon, which is a valid reason, definitely. Or baka meron kang iba. Maybe nag-bully anak ko sa school. Or maybe nag-travel kayo. So, mas may, mas, kung mag absent din lang absent and yung homeschool mo nalang, nas mas nakaka-travel pa. And that's like, what map eh? That's araling pandipunan. That's Filipino. So, parang incorporating nga as, parang in pa pala, Miss A, para hindi ako ma, mabaliw. Yun nga eh. Um, parang incorporating as many lessons as possible in one lesson. Like, and the easiest way talaga is by reading a book. Pero a, li- a living book in a sense na it's written by someone who's passionate about the subject matter and it's written by someone in story form. Kasi diba, when you look back, yung mga natatandaan mo kasi dinaan sa kwento. So, parang ganun din lang. And with homeschooling talaga, you, you have that power and um, as a parent to customize yung learning. Na hindi lang textbook sa math, textbook sa science. Pwedeng isang book, andyan na lahat ng subjects. And then you're done for the day. At the end of the day, what would matter more? Is it the subjects? Is it your child understanding the multiplication table? Or is it your relationship with them? So, minsan, just choose the battles. Then I choose my battles. Pag meron ng luhang papatak, it's a sign na, oops, kailangan na mag-break kasi they don't learn if they're like in that stressful um stage or umiiyak. So, pause na. Kaya mo munang magbukas ka. <laughs> Pero mm-hmm. gano'n is eh. Mm-hmm. Pero ang galing mo talaga, Dave. So, nakakalabas ka pa. Lumalabas ka pa naman. <laughs> Nakaka- well, mamagal na kung kapag ka rin pag may mga events. <laughs> um, pero ngayon, oh, syempre, oh. Yung, 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 sinasama mo pa rin si Lee. Nakikita ko eh. Pero may time na ikaw lang talaga. Nag, nagta-time ka for yourself lang din na ikaw lang. Yes. Um, time with my, my my husband's sisters kasi mga, may mga anak din. So, parang mga tita, mga, mga mommy-mommy. And then, kami ni Bilog, kailangan. So, ngayon, oh. ang labas lang namin si Suteri. Pero oh. noon, may date-date pa. Pero ngayon, grocery na ang place eh. Oh. <laughs> Basta tayo, tulog pa sila. Oh, Mga ganun. <laughs> Pero ang iksi ng oras natin, ang dami pa sana pwedeng i-talk about. Grabe. Ito ang part ko nito, no? Ang kailangan ng part ko. Kasi oh. may ang dami pang discuss at marami um, moderate uh, may may ano nga may, magutos ka nga ana ng isang ano eh, nandito ba si Mahar Mahar magutos ka nga ng isang mag ano i ipunin ipunin yung mga tanong dito na hindi natin nasagot kasi medyo I, I take it so I take it personally dahil ang dami and they are inquiring and uh, they deserve to be answered and I am hoping that at least one of you may and, and days could uh, answer them if we forward it forward them to you would that be possible would that be okay no problem okay. that's good that's good <laughs> oh, and so, 
<laughs> Yun. So, uh, yes, unfortunately, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, talagang na, ngayon pa, ngayon kung kailan, kung kailan na daming nagtatanong, ayoko mag-overtime, ano? Kasi hindi ako makarelate eh. Hindi ako relate. <laughs> and then, uh, sige, Anna, mag-adver- mag-advertise ka and then let's entertain some more questions para ano, mag-overtime tayo kung willing ang mga kasama natin. Kung okay lang ba sa kanila. Okay. okay lang ba, Dennis, maan, mag-extend ng konting oras? Baka may meeting kayo, okay lang? Okay, okay lang naman. naman. Okay. Lang. okay. Sige, mag- mag-advertise hmm. lang. Wait lang po. <laughs> Ayan. Ay, teka lang. May rapan ako mag-control ng ano. <laughs> Ayan, announcement. So, on May 27, 10 to, ay, ang aga, Phoenix, 10.30 a.m. Kaya uh, Don't forget to watch <laughs> our Just Success interview with April Button. Uh, higher pay and happier life thanks to freelancing. Ayan, May 27 yan. So, Wednesday, 10.30 a.m. Phoenix, gumising ka. <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, para sa mga um, bago lang sa page or sa flip, um, at gusto matuto kung paano mag-work from home gaya namin nila Mary, Days at ni Maan. Um, pwede ka mag-invest sa, sa, sari, sa sarili mo kung gusto mo mag-enroll. It, punta ka lang sa vabootcamp.ph slash enroll. Ang kagandahan nito, lifetime access na siya. Kung walang budget, meron naman tayong mga free may free course. Punta ka lang sa freevacourse.com. Tapos yung package natin sa VA Bootcamp, meron tayong skill package na ina-offer. Ito yung pinaka mura. 3990 siya. Nandiyan na yung email management, calendar management, internet research, office applications, social media management, website management, at saka transcription. Tapos meron ding installment na payable in 3 Three, uh, every 15 days, three payments. So, one four ninety na lang siya kung uh, medyo uh, kulang sa budget. Ayan, pwede ka mag-installment. Tapos, yung accelerated natin, um, bukod sa nandito na yung mga nasa skill package, merong e-commerce, uh, free e-commerce na uh, course, book- bookkeeping, uh, better English, tapos nandun din yung guided hassle challenge kung saan ginaguide namin yung mga students um, to up na mag-apply, uh, check namin yung profile nyo, yung cover letter, at saka meron ding mock interview. Tapos yung complete package naman, yung uh, accelerated is 7990 Complete package is 19990 Pero nandito yung mga special courses na SEO, WordPress design, email marketing, content writing, Facebook advertising, at saka yung road to 100K na masterclass na dating 30K. So yung lahat ng nasa accelerated, nasa complete package, plus yung mga special courses na ito. Tapos kung um, kumikita ka na experience ka na na freelancer at gusto mong mag-earn ng 100K, meron din free course para dito. Try mo lang yung free course muna kung gusto mong mag-upgrade uh, later on to complete course, nandun din to. So punta ka lang sa www.camp.ph slash free 100K course. Ayan. That's it. That's it. Ano ba yan? Nagano na naman yung phone ko. Nagsara yung Facebook. But anyway, yeah. Andiyan na yung mga... And, and dami mga nagre-request din ng, ng part 2. Yes, I think, yeah, this is a very uh, big topic that we ought to talk about. Kaya tignan po natin si, yes. si Ana pong bahala dyan. Si Ana pong mag- mag-de-decide ko sa kung paano yun. Dapat may anak ka na para makarelate ka. <laughs> 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 oh, and then no, really. If if ever homeschool talaga, kahit hindi pa siguro, uh, kahit hindi pa siguro uso ang homeschooling dito. Homeschool talaga ang ano? Because I've been homeschooled. Don na don ko naman na ipasa yung mga ano? Eh, so homeschooling ko naman na ipasa yung mga pepte, yung mga PEPT test at kung ano ano yan eh. Hindi. Uh, besides, um, well. Uh, well. <laughs> May ito take advantage ko na since ako ay nandito. Ako yung magtatanong talaga. Days, may advice mo ba sa akin since yung mga anak ko ay talagang nag-regular school? Pwede pa ba ako mag-homeschool? Hindi ba ako mangangarag niya na grade 2 na yung incoming grade 3 tapos may incoming grade oh, 7 yeah, na? Oh, yeah. Mm. Pwede pa ba yun? Or mahirap na? <laughs> mahirap na? Um, Pwede pa naman siya, Miss A, pero in your situation, kasi you have a baby pa coming soon. Uh, you know, honestly, mahirap talaga siya. Kasi, especially to ikaw yung magiging teacher. So, um, 
Pwede siguro, I mean, pwede siya kung pwede ka. Saka may added, may added ano sa'yo dahil may baby ka nga. Pero kung hindi ka buntis or anything, pwede siya. Kailangan mo lang makonect sa tamang provider na gusto mo. I mean, if you wanna go um with a provider, pero pwede rin naman independent ka muna para wala rin pressure. At least, di ba? Um, Depo.gov.ph, andun yung basic competencies that you could just follow. I mean, kung gusto mo lang na at the back of your mind, alam mo may direction naman yung mga inaaral ng mga bata. Or pwede rin you can take it as a year to rest and just really have them parang Ay, have a love for learning. Actually, yan nga din yung gusto ko ngayon muna. Parang mag-rest muna sila. Tapos next year na lang, titignan ko din kung paano yung magiging setup. Dahil ngayon nga din, aside from buntis din ako, yun. Parang yun yeah, nga din nga I am wondering, Daisy, have you considered coaching for homeschooling moms? Wala, wala ako kasi maraming tatanong, pero parang ang hirap turuan ng moms how to teach their child. Parang medyo ang daming issue, maraming magiging issue doon or drama doon. So, I'm just a few years, guys. So, parang Sa page ko, nag-live lang ako pag may mga tanong. That's the most really I could do. Pero wala pa po ako uh, mindset na gano'n. Um, siguro hmm. ano lang, in a webinar series, mga gano'n. Pero not as a coach-coach na hirap. Eh. Yeah, it is a very big thing to tackle. What about you, Miss May? And do you have any uh, blog out there na pwedeng sundan about your journey as a homeschooling mom? Uh, sa ngayon, wala pa eh. Sa ano ko lang, sa page ko lang, minsan nag-share ako ng mga eccentricities ng anak ko. Yun, yes. yun yung mm-hmm. the post mm-hmm. that, uh, yeah. that I do at the moment. In fact, you too, especially kayong dalawa most especially, your experiences is already is already big help because um, homeschooling is kind of a new territory here in the Philippines. Hindi hindi po uso sa atin. Kaya marami pang mga marami pa tayong dapat diskubrihin. Wala wala po sa atin dito sa Pilipinas itong ultimate expert when it comes to being a homeschooling mom. So itong mga bits and pieces na na share niyo is actually a very very big thing because you are st- well, you are considered pioneers in this field. So I hope that you keep sharing. Um, Mary Jane, are you convinced to finally you know, consider homeschooling bigger, greater? Is that a, is that a, a possible future for your kids? Uh, yes, po. Um, parang ano ba? Kasi anyway, um, yung, ano ba? Yung next Pero, Ngayon kasi sa, sa, sa situation namin, ako talaga, gusto ko talaga silang i-homeschooling. Like what this day said, parang gusto ko, ayoko yung i-pressure sila na kailangan at this age, parang naman sila. Basta yun talaga yung uh, parang goal ko, bakit ko gusto mag-homeschooling? Kasi ayoko yung ganun na na-pressure yung mga bata. So, siguro kung mag-homeschooling man ako ngayon, um, um, uh, our living learning. <laughs> Kasi mm-hmm. gusto ko yung mga living, living books. Gusto ko sila matuto magpasa instead magsula. I mean, okay din magsulat, pero mas, iba kasi yung, yung, yung narinig ko sa history na, yung face of learning. Sobrang makaka-overwhelm yung sa bata, yung ano. Pero, pagka, pagka, isang topic lang, andun na lahat yung learning. May isa sa buhay nila. Hindi ko alam kung basta yun yung, actually, nag-enroll nga ako sa younger, oh. ano, <laughs> Isn't that what's beautiful about homeschooling though? Kasi uh, parang oh, oh. freelancing then that you have parang the sila, Yes, you have the control. Uh-oh. Yes, ikaw itong mamimili kung anong dapat nilang pag-aralan, ikaw yes, ikaw itong yung, mamimili kung Hindi yung kailangan ng workbook. Kailangan is stay at yung aralin mo tapos bukas ito naman. Ayo ayun talaga yung ayoko. Ayoko talaga. Kaya gusto ko mag-homeschooling. Push natin 'yan. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I, 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 I love that very much. So if that is the case, Miss Mary Jane, I strongly advise that you also start up a, a page for your journey. All right. <laughs> kahit, sa, 
<laughs> kahit sa kahit sa deciding factor pa lang, you don't have to be an expert to put up a, a page. Put up a page to talk about how you are even considering this. Yung thinking process mo of the pros and cons. Because even the parents now, even the audiences right now are still, uh, some of them are still th thinking yung pros and cons. Some of them are not completely sold into homeschooling. So marami pa rin silang mga pinag-iisipan sa ngayon. So I hope that yeah in fact my question in fact my isa sa mga earlier questions dito hindi ko makalkal pero he is asking about uh yun nga yung magbabayad pa rin sila pareho pa rin ng ang, tapos yeah. ikaw yung mahihirapan di ba ikaw oh, yung maghihirap pa sila so Actually, is it worth it how do you manage it so yeah yes very good miss uh, Miss Mary Jane that is a very good top uh, yeah, thing to tackle din ano din and that is why I strongly suggest na mag mag blog ka They'll put up a page and, and write about it kasi yun nga yeah, uh, seriously marami mga tao ito this, marami pang mga dapat pag-aralan dito marami pa sa atin itong nakikurious pa lang maraming mga gustong makisabay din so even you including you ladies and gentlemen if you have any curiosities about homeschooling isulat ninyo because you know what the questions that you are asking yourselves right now will be questions that will be asked by the future parents who will also consider homeschooling makakatulong po kayo para sa mga future. So, kung meron po kayong concerns ngayon, even if you don't pursue homeschooling for your kids, put it out there because the questions, importante ang mga yan. Further, uh, Anna, anything you want to add? Um, ito, talong ni Alex. Anong provider daw ang inabail ni Days at siya ka ni Maray? Soft RDMA. Aling provider? Ah... Muna. Ako, ako wala akong provider. O, pero yung yung pinapasukan ni nung anak ko nung last year, parang uh, mag-o-offer sila ngayon ng support para sa mga gustong mag-homeschool using the Waldorf uh, Steiner Method. So, kung interested kayo, punta lang kayo dun sa FB page nila, si Sidlan Institute, yung pangalan. Si Sidla Institute. Ayan. Yeah. Thank you, man. Si Days. Ikaw, Days. Anong provider? So, with me, I'm um, with our Living Learning. Meron din silang page. Um, pero we mainly use naman Charlotte Mason. And then, um, quickly lang, ano, dun sa mga may questions kasi, um, mayroon pala akong IG na homeschooling wam. So, that's where I share more about homeschooling. And then, dun sa... Di si Bertha Daza pa rin na page. Pangalan ko lang, um, nakishare ako ng homeschooling. And then I even did the homeschooling 101, like all your questions um, answered na parang Facebook Live lang. And then dun siya, um, sa YouTube, binapload ko pala sa YouTube. So pwede niya rin panawarin guys. Eh, eh, yun din yung tanong ni ano, eh, Abby kung ano yung page yung dalawa. Homeschooling. Actually, ano, nalaman ko yung homeschooling dahil kay Ms. Day. So, years ago, naalala ko yung interview kami Ms. Day sa flip chat. Ay, the uh, FCC. Mm -hmm. Diba? Na, yun yata yung nagkaano ka na. Parang nila, nakalunch lang ng page ng homes, from happy homeschooling moms noon. So, yun. May page po si Ms. Day. Um, mas maganda, um, uh, panoorin nyo may mga introduction videos. One one, how to, ano, uh, maganda yun. Si Maan, ikaw Maan, may page ka? Or sa ano man? Wala pa. Sa ano ko na lang muna, personal profile. Personal. Ayan. Maan, <laughs> dimla. Um, Maan, dimla, yes. Ah. Marami mo mag-add sa'yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure maraming magtatanong talaga. Napatigil, napatigil lang kasi sabi na natin tapos na ang oras. Eh. Kaya huminto sila sa pagtatanong. Pero actually, kanina dire-dire-diretso na eh. Ang dami. <laughs> ang daming mga tanong. Ayan kasi, ladies and gentlemen, dapat sa simula at simula pa lang, pag nakita nyo ang topic at meron na kayong tanong agad, tanong na agad. Kasi hindi natin alam ni dumadaan na ang oras. Ako tong dada ng dada ng dada eh. Imbes na mag-entertain mag, ano, eh, mag ng tanong dito. Eh. Um, ayan, pero yeah um, may, uh, may tanong ko nga What are the negatives? Because we keep talking about the positives So what are the negatives of homeschooling? Um, Miss Days 
Um, for me, homeschooling five kids, nakapagod. Um, nakapagod naman talaga. Uh, ang thing is, kailangan mo hanapan ng oras ng sarili mo. So, yun. And then another is, um, if, if you can make a decision talaga, um, medyo masasad ka, you lose your sanity at some point. So, importante yung to take care of yourself first. Kaya laging ganun. Di ba? Laging sasabi, fill your cup first para you can, you know, love and care for other people. Um, and then another negative siguro is, ano, magastos. Especially kung, kasi nga nahilig na sa libro, kung ito ng book fairs, yung Manila International Book Fair, Big Bad Bowl, tapos gusto yung ganda. So parang kasi you wanna nurture yung interest. Hanggat may interest, bigay mo. Kasi kaysa naman yung pipilitin nyo para. So while the interest is there, you provide and, you know, provide opportunities to satisfy that curiosity. So it can get ma- magastos if you allow it. So yun, budget budget din. Um ano pa? Um um ano, uh, minsan pag um ano ba? Yun gusto lang kasama, especially mga little ones, pero ang iisipin mo na lang din is season lang yan eh. Eventually, ayun na yan sumama tayo. So just enjoy that. Di ba na parang kung mama sa mga dito, kumusta lang siya sasama or lalabas ka lang sa glit sasama. Ang nakatinda ay mga ganun, pero season lang yan mga moms, mga dads. Starting in time na ayaw na yan sa mama and you're gonna oh, find mama, miss that. Mama, <laughs> um, ano pa pa? Ah, ang isang negative for me is personally, yung uh, yung judgment ng mga mahal ko sa buhay. Kasi I came from mm. a teachers. So, ang grabe yung pressure na parang, yeah. oh, ano I was gonna mo? ask that. Ano, anong honor? Ano na tatunan? Ay, parang, oh, anong honor mo? Anong highest grade mo? Parang, in my mind, di ba dapat ang tanong is anong matutunan mo? <laughs> Hindi anong honor mo or anong uh-huh. grade mo. So, yun, um, for a time, it was really a struggle until ito yung win ko. Parang two weeks ago, bigang ng message yung tita ko na very against ito noong una kasi tiga-deped siya. Uh, sabi mm-hmm. niya, Uy, lovely, maraming nag-vlog ngayon. I-vlog mo yung homeschooling mo para maraming makakalam. Sabi ko, ah, oh, finally. So, yun. <laughs> isa, isa talaga yun sa negative kasi yun, kaya tayo babalik sa goals, everyone eh. Um, kasi if you're not clear on what is your reason why you are doing this, the moment na questioning ka, talagang mapaisip ka, you'll be mm-hmm. entitled na, am I ruining my child's future? Am I doing this? Is this enough? So, be very clear on your goal. Talaga, yun talaga yung panghahawakan niya kasi pag people start questioning you. But then again, isipin niya na lang din na ito mga taong nagtatanong na to, it's because they care. That's why they're asking. And sometimes mm-hmm. they're not informed. So mm-hmm. you just inform them. Depende din sa so anong tinatanong nila. Pero pag di naman tinatanong na, saan yung hope don't voluntarily say na nag-homeschool kasi that's gonna open a can of germs. So pag tinanong sa akin, and then change topic para, yun nga, for your sanity, mm-hmm. for your peace of mind. So, I mean, yun yung mga parang negative. Uh-oh. Parang freelancing lang, no? Yung hindi rin tanggap ng ibang kabag-ala. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. kaya, kaya nga sabi ko, uh, ang homeschooling, parang uh, the more you you people talk about homeschooling, the more na parang parang freelancing din. Uh, it is very much related to freelancing. And yun ngayon nasasabi ko na when it comes to scheduling, it actually works hand-in-hand hand with, with freelancing. Unlike sa... Uh, kapag nasa corporate ka tapos magpapa-homeschool ka I don't think this is going to work and speaking of that Miss Maan uh, to whom is homeschooling not for naman? Uh, siguro pa doon sa mga uh, yun yung parang sinasabi ni Miss Anna kanina yung mga walang ano yung may, may ganun kasi eh, na maiksi talaga yung pasensya. So, kasi pag, pag, pag nasa bahay lang yung bata, lalo na yung mga edad na, ano pa, yung toddler five, tapos papuntang five, six, seven, mm. hindi talaga sila nauubusan ng sasabihin. Mm. So, kung, kung hindi ka handa na sagutin lahat ng mga tanong nila, siguro pwede kang mag-isip-isip kung para sa iyo yung ano yung homeschooling pero in the same breath naman kasi din once nag na, na you make that decision mag, magagawa at magagawa magagawa at magagawa mo rin siya ng paraan so yun parang yung binanggit nga ni Liz mas maganda talaga is 
uh, the first step is to identify your goal talaga, kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mo. Kasi whatever your decision may be, uh, magagawan mo siya ng paraan. So minsan, ako minsan ako rin nagugulat eh, na papano ko nakalagpas na naman pala ako ng isang buong araw. Parang ganun. So siguro yun po. Wow. Uh, it really tests your patience kung gano'n. But, yun nga, di, hindi ba't um, kung ano ang natutunan mo na self-discipline sa freelancing, I think i-apply mo pa rin dito. Eh. Because it's all about preparation. It's all about, uh, you know, patience. Masasanay ka rin. Di ba gano'n naman sa freelancing? Parang ang hirap-hirap sa simula. Nakaka, nakakalito na. Ang dami mong dapat gawin. Ang daming ginagawa. Ang daming pagkakamali. And then slowly, as you keep going... na nasasanay ka rin. So I think that also happens in in homeschooling and it's it's okay kasi you know what I have learned here is homeschooling is not just about um giving providing education to you, your child. It's more a ano na to, a give and take. Kasi pati parents mag-aaral din dito eh. Ang dami nilang matututunan, ang dami nilang dapat pag-aralan when it comes to homeschooling. So they are both learning together, which I think is a very, very good way of having a bonding moment with your children because both of you are learning. So, yun ang, that's the miracle of it. And it's always a joy to walk the same path with your kids. Dahil yun nga, darating din ang araw, you will, have to, you, have, you will have to separate ways and you will be reminiscing on what you have done to your kid all through his uh, growing life. Yan ang, any, uh, let me ask for final words from you ladies. Let's start with Miss Mayan. Um, siguro ang masabi ko lang is uh, as parents naman, lahat ng mga decisions natin sa buhay is because of only one thing. Because we, we love our children and we want to uh, provide the best for them, the best education, the best everything. So yon para sa akin, as long as you're acting or you're doing your decision from a place of, of love and concern for your child, hindi ka naman magiging mabuti yung, yung kalalabasan. So regardless, if you choose to homeschool or you choose to send them to traditional school, it wouldn't, mat- it wouldn't matter in the long run. So yun, yun po, yun gusto kong sabihin. Wow, I love that. That's a, that's a, that's a very nice um, way of le- uh, letting people, letting parents know about Uh, their kids future ang ganda naman yan what about you miss mary jane what how what do you want to impart what have we learned today ah uh, siguro natutunan ko lang na kung meron ka gustong gawin just start na right away kasi kung pinagdedelidili mo pa edi eh, dalong wala kasi di ba best ex- at each uh, experience is the best teacher like what miss they said na na ang dami nilang school provider ang dami nilang tinray and schooling and schooling Um, hindi mo naman nakikita ko ano yung best for you and your kids kung hindi mo itatry ka lang ba. Kung titignan mo lang si Miss Day, ay, ang galing-galing niya. Paano mo nagagawa yun? Kasi ikaw hindi mo naman siya gusto mo kaya. Parang uh, it's a matter of just start kung ano pa talaga yung gusto mo. Kung ito yung gusto mo, like siguro sinasabi ko ito for myself then. Kasi ang hirap-hirap pa rin magsimula sa totoo lang. Kasi parang feeling ko hindi ko kaya. Parang hindi ko kaya na Ay, ako ba? Nag-work ako, tapos may business pa ako, tapos ngayon nagsistart yung Lazada shop ko na ang dami nag order So, para, parang lalo, lalo tuloy na, na nakukonsume yung time ko. So, yun nga, mag-start ka and then kung hindi kaya, at least nalaman mo hindi mo kaya. Pero kung sasabihin mo lang na hindi mo kaya, pero hindi mo naman sinukukaya, diba? And ano pa ba? Kung siguro kung uh, nagsistart ka, mas okay siguro may, may provider. kaysa mag-unschooling or ano, walang walang provider. Kasi at least guided ka ng mga, uh, may, may, kung may academics yung gusto mo or kung gusto mo wala, at least merong, merong may mag-guide sa'yo, meron kang mapagtatanungan, kaysa yung search ka lang ng search, lalo ka lang mau-overwhelm. Siguro yun lang po. Kala ko iiyak ka na, Mel. Iiyak ka na. Hindi, iiyak ko. Iiyak ko. Iiyak ko lang na mag-ano, mag, ano, mag, mag Para sa anak mo eh, hindi mo alam ang hirap. Gusto mo ibigay yung best, pero... Uh, 
I like I like it though. Yung yung binigay mo kasi it's all about being aggressive. Dahil time is a ticking when it comes to our children. Hindi natin alam bukas um ilang tulog lang malaki na ilang tulog lang my girlfriend boyfriend na hindi na. <laughs> It's inevitable. It's inevitable. Nanggaling naman tayo din dyan eh. Yes. Hindi natin namamalayan eh. Grade 6 na tayo. Hindi natin namamalayan. May girlfriend, boyfriend na tayo. Hindi natin namamalayan. College grad na. Time is a ticking. Kaya whatever your plans are, sometimes it is better for you to just dip, go there and sige lang, subukan mo lang. In, in any case din naman eh, lahat ng, mag, ng ginagawa natin, especially when it comes to the betterment of our kids, of our children, kung nagkamali man tayo ng desisyon, we, we always find a solution to fix it. We always find means and ways to fix it. And that is also another good thing because it is a learning process. It is something that you and your children can hold on to as an experience. Ako, marami akong experiences with my moms and those are mostly um, failures and successes din sa business niya. And I love it because even though we were at the lowest of our low, we were at the lowest of our low together. And even though pag merong na-achieve ang nanay ko through me, with my education or whatever, at least masasabi ko na oh, kasama ko ang nanay ko nung time na yon. So whatever you, you, you plan on doing, do it right now, katulad na nang sabi ni Miss Mary Jane, because time is a ticking. Whatever you want to do with your kid, do it right now. So, kung ano man yon, Para ano, kasi pag sasabihin mong mamaya, mamaya or magpaplano-plano ka pa because you want perfection, uh, kailan ka pa hahantong dyan? Kailan mo pa mararating yan? Never. So, yeah, the, I support what Miss Mary Jane said. Thank you very much, Miss Mary Jane. And what about you, Miss Dace? Yeah, um, well, for me, totally agree with what Ma Ann said. Like, 100%. Um, and with what Mary Joy said, uh, if I could just add to that, it's really just at the end of the day, you know, you do you, meaning you do what's best for your family because you as the parent know what's best for your kids. So, ang, ang next done is you just have to decide. Um, and then if you feel that homeschooling is a path that you want to try, like for a year, then you do the due diligence. You study about it, reach out to people that are already doing it so that you equip with yourself with the right information to help support you to make that right decision for your family. So, you know, at the end of the day, um, we're just here to share our experiences, but it all will boil down to what's really best for your family and whatever that is. Just focus on that. I think at the end of the day, our kids, education is just one part of their life. It's so much more than that. So, the bad don't let it stress you too much then because it's going to affect you your homeschooling mo or kung sa school man yan then. So, just be the parent that you wish you had. Be the parent that you know your mm-hmm. kids deserve. And at the end of the day, yun lang gusto nila na when they look back sa so younger years nila, their parents, their mom or dad was there to listen to them, to support them, to cheer them up. Parang ganun. Wow. Then, yeah. well, thank you very much. Ang ganda, ang ganda. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you all are inspired. And um, sa mga tanong po ninyo na hindi namin na, na address, pasensya na pa, but we will try to look for means and ways that we can address that. So, yun na yung sabi ko, whoever you are appointed to do that, just do that. And Miss Anna, what about you? Alam ko, okay. ikaw, marami ka pang gustong tanong. Hindi. <laughs> na to talaga napaisip ako bigla na dapat nalaman ko ang homeschooling from the start pa lang. Kasi parang yung traditional schooling nga ngayon, parang kung iisipin mo po yung academics, parang katulad yung ginagawa ni Maan, parang sana kung siguro sa baby ko ngayon na ano, pa-start, pwede kong gawin yun, di ba? Yung tapos yung kakausapin mo lang sila, yung nagsustorytelling lang kayo, yung parang mas marami kang time para talaga sa mga anak mo. And parang nakita ko lang din na talagang nung nag-start din ako mag-freelancing, eh yun din talaga yung gusto ko, yung maraming time para sa kids. Kaya, kaya ako mas pinili din maging, ano, mag-work from home. Pero yun, um, at the end of the day nga, ang gusto lang naman din talaga natin, mabigay yung best para sa mga anak natin. Kaya, kaya din ako nag-freelancing na yan. And then yun, kung, kung ito na yung naging path ko, siguro, um, mas, 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 mas advantage pa rin kahit nag-traditional schooling sila. Um, kasama ko pa rin sila dahil nga nasa bahay lang ako. And yun nga, papahingahin ko muna sila siguro this year na to 
talagang um, yun, mas maraming time pa rin kami together. Yun nga, kahit sabi ko nga, ma-exe ang pasensya ko, kailangan habaan ko na ngayon. Nasasabi ko lang naman din yun, pero syempre, tayo namang mga nanay, nandiyan talaga yung mahabang pasensya natin kung tutukasin. Kasi from day one na pinanganak natin yan, until this day na yung naalagaan natin, di ba? Yung pasensya natin na test na talaga ng sobra-sobra dyan. <laughs> Kaya, hindi pa rin natin pwedeng sabihin wala tayong pasensya. Ano lang, minsan lang talaga tao lang na ano, <laughs> nagagalit pa rin na, na ano, nangubusan ng ano, ng PC at pasensya, diba? Pero yun, um, masasabi ko pa rin, um, swerte pa rin ako dahil yun, nag-freelance ako kasi nga, mas marami akong time with them. So yun, marami akong natutunan at marami pa talaga akong tanong. Kaya gusto ko ng part 2. Part 2. Yeah, looking forward to, looking forward to part 2. I think magkakaroon tayo ng, ng part 2. Next time, um, fill my seat up with somebody else Anna kasi wala at wala akong maiko-contribute <laughs> lang, hindi ako parent <laughs> hindi ako hindi ako parent pero pwede rin si H si uh, ah, ba si H, H ano homeschooling din ah, si H niya yan yeah, yeah. meron niya ata siyang ano meeting pag 5 pm daw kaya De, audience, audience nga siya eh nandito nga siya nanonood kanina kanina oh, nag-live oh. lang siya kay Maana siya yeah kanina. okay so ladies and gentlemen kung magkakaroon po tayo ng part 2 mawawala po ako to be filled up by somebody who has more knowledge about uh, <laughs> <laughs> about homeschooling kasi talagang wala absolutely wala akong maiko-contribute kundi nothing but re- nothing but relaying what everybody is saying anyway but there you go ladies and gentlemen and i hope that um i hope that we have satisfied at least a little bit of your curiosity to those of you who find it in your heart to uh, uh, to say thanks to everybody here most especially miss days and miss man and miss mary jane kung pwede po magpasalamat po tayo sa kanila kasi ang dami nilang naibigay na tips and tricks para po sa atin homeschooling hacks for be- for busy parents and we all know that these are busy 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 parents and nagagawa pa rin nila yung gusto nilang gawin by homeschooling their kids so if you have any more questions uh, you can relate to them you can you can submit it in in any way be creative if you want kasi nga sa sobrang kabisihan po nila kailangan mapatawa po natin sila ma-entertain din po sana natin sila sa pagtatanong natin so uh, bahala na po kayo kung anong discarte nyo dyan but I hope that you will recognize their efforts of today And also, congratulations, everybody. Thank you very much for asking so many questions. And buti na lang at na-inspire namin kayo, na-trigger namin kayo, na nagtanong-tanong. And more to more to come. Go ahead. Keep on asking questions. And marami rin naman sa atin ang mga ano, nagpapa-homeschool. Meron. Meron at meron dito sa, sa group natin. So don't worry about it. Keep asking. Um, if you have any more curiosities, just post it in public, as I said, in the flip. And I hope to see you again next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hindi ko ba yun? Nag-lolo ko na yung mga...